Let's get to your money. Why not? It's a Friday, right before a long holiday weekend, and the Dow is up. Uh, market watcher David Barnson is with us. Now, David specializes in investing in companies where the dividend is growing. And I think you're a particularly apropos guest on a day like this because the market's being a little wobbly and we're looking for the safety of a nice return. So which dividend-bearing stocks did you bring with you today? <laughs> I'll tell you what's going to pay a better dividend than the Democrats' impeachment pursuit. And that's well, Blackstone. Good, a nice tie in there. Yeah. I thought I would just pull that in together, Tammy. I, oh, full disclosure, Blackstone, you recommended it. Yes. I bought a, quite a lot of it and I've made some good money on it. And what's the dividend it pays now at 41? On an annualized basis it's in the sevens uh, it fluctuates quarter by quarter but it annualizes about seven percent the stock's up 37 percent on the year yeah. Yeah. and they are converting in july to a c corp so it's been i don't want to confuse people but it's been in a structure tax wise that has kept a lot of people from being able to buy it now it's going to be opened up to foreign investors mutual funds That's etf right. so it's really a great move for black so blackstone pays you on an annualized basis look across the year seven percent correct next one which is wow. it? Uh, we really do like Chevron. And uh, this really? deal with Anadarko fell apart is such an uh, illustration as to why. Where companies get in trouble and they have to start cutting their dividend is generally M&A that they do a deal and take debt on to do it, and it jeopardizes their ability. It's one of the reasons we sold AT&T last year, because that Time Warner deal, AT&T, is leveraged to the hilt. Maybe they'll pull through. Maybe they'll keep paying the dividend, but the risk of it pulled us out. Chevron's refusal to keep upping when Occidental was doing the silliness they were doing to go make that acquisition happen, levering to the hilt, paying Warren Buffett $4 billion a year just to put his name on it and so forth. It was Really, what Chevron did was very impressive, but they've done it for 30, 40 years. So we like Chevron's was it discipline. Paying? Was it paying over 4%. Okay. The stock's up 9% on the year, but it is a dividend grower for decades. Right. Blackstone, Chevron, and I know you've got one more. I'm putting in Cisco on the list today. What's it pay? Uh, Cisco's paying right now about 2.7%. They've been growing the dividend over 10% uh. per year. Okay, so if you go, if you look at the dividend on what Cisco was trading at two years ago, it's over five percent, and they continue growing it. They've done unbelievable things, changing their model to be more subscription-based. They're getting more consistent cash flow, yeah. less volatile stock. Yeah, One of the great winners. Uh, uh, you still, can't but still better than a savings account, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, but but, but Stuart, you're you're uh, saying no because the dividend's too low. Yes. They're announcing their next dividend growth in a month, so then I'll come back and you'll un. Hum away your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's, that's, that's the word of the day. <laughs> David, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Appreciate uh. it.